coming up on stage right now is a very, very close personal friend of mine. Give it up for Valerie Roberts! job interviews. Right. <laughs> they had no idea until they came out to the lobby. Valerie Roberts, here. <laughs> I wanted to let you know we just filled the position. Really? The last three seconds? It happened a lot. And people always ask me the origins of my family name. Valerie, what does Roberts mean? Uh, slave owner? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it means some Welsh guy had relations with my great great grandmother. And not by her choice, by the way. You know, so I met a, Welsh, a guy from Wales years ago. He said, Roberts, that's a fine Welsh name. You should feel proud. Like, do I look Welsh, motherfucker? <laughs> I'll take a closer look here. Yeah, it was a proud day in the Roberts family tree when the Welsh guy got all Bill Cosby on Granny. <laughs> yeah, we talk about that around the Thanksgiving table. Yeah, there are people who believe that racism no longer exists in the United States. These are people I like to call white. <laughs> people who've never actually experienced it. Like, you know, everything's great, there's no racism. We have a black president, for gosh sakes. What's wrong with these pesky Negroes? <laughs> Everything's fine in Whitesville. That's Gilbert. <laughs> of course everything's fine in Whitesville. You don't know what we go through. <laughs> the same people who claim that racism doesn't exist are the exact same people who lost their damn minds when the movie Annie was remade with black folks. <laughs> right? People lost their minds over the children's movie. The children's movie. One guy was online, I can't believe they made Annie black. <laughs> Everybody knows Annie's a cute little red-headed white girl. Black people ruin everything. I don't know, dude. I think we made basketball a skosh better. <laughs> Baseball, football, track and field, music, golf, basically every sport is better because of us, except for, you know, those involving snow, ice, or water. <laughs> I'm not sure why. And what else is better because of us? Uh, the Soul Train lines are much better. Right? Uh, future James Bond. For me, I don't know about anybody else. Uh, the U.S. presidency. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> and before us, y'all ate chicken or waffles. <laughs> You're welcome. I think people would have been okay if they had changed the name of the movie a little bit instead of calling it exactly the same thing. Like, remember when they redid The Wizard of Oz? The black people call it the whiz. White people didn't care at all. They're like, what are those Negroes up to now? <laughs> Let them have their fun. Let's go back to Whitefield before the sun goes down. Seriously, Brandon, get in the car. <laughs> yeah, so. So. <laughs> millions of Native Americans and stole their land away from them. Uh, and this other time we went to Africa and enslaved ourselves. And why not? And this other time we rioted in the streets and burned down the businesses of innocent people. Oh wait, we did do that. <laughs> we did do that, but you guys do it too. But you do it when you're happy. <laughs> Yay, we won the Super Bowl. <laughs> Let's go turn some cars over. <laughs> and throw some rocks through windows and run through the streets naked. Y'all got it made, man. The cops show up, 
They don't arrest anybody. They don't shoot anybody. They're like, hey, break it up, you crazy kids. Get on back home. Does anybody need a ride? Get in the car, Brandon. Let me take it home. What I'm trying to say is, white people, the sun will come out. <laughs> of course, in a few years, Latinos are going to be the majority in the United States. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. But everything will be okay, I promise. In white